Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! You are a man of the right, not a man of the left. And those are mm. traditionally Labour socialist voters. And when they hear your views about privatising the NHS, well, for instance, they are going to be horrified. Well, let me make it perfectly clear. I mean, I stood uh, on a manifesto in 2015, uh, a UKIP manifesto, which I believe was the best manifesto out of any of the political parties, which made, ensured that we put three billion a year into the NHS and kept it public. That's the policy at the time. But yep. you yourself said... 2011, I would argue that the very mm. existence of the NHS, the very existence of the NHS stifles competition and as competition uh, uh, creates quality and choice, improvements are restricted. Therefore, I believe as long as the NHS is the sacred cow of British politics, the longer the British people will suffer with a second-rate health service. You want to privatise the NHS. Firstly, nothing should be a sacred cow in British politics. All things should be up for debate. But, you know, in, but you don't, you don't in, hang on, in, in certain areas, like procurement, for example, I think the NHS could do better because in certain areas the NHS is paying 30% okay. over, the, over the odds for certain okay. drugs. If you brought in a private company, you could hire and fire on the results they got for the but British you're, people. But you're not talking about procurement there. You're talking about privatising the NHS, which for I, a lot of Labour voters is anathema. Under my leadership, UKIP will be committed to keeping right. the NHS in public hands and free at the point of delivery. Let me remind you of what you said at the, at the, at the famous hustings in 2011. Yeah. I believe that the NHS is a monolithic hangover from days gone by and unfortunately we're becoming, or fortunately shall I say, we're becoming an older population and quite frankly I would like to see more free markets introduced into the health service because this is the way it has to go. Let's face reality here. This is where it has to go. We're an ageing population. That's yep. the reality. I'm sorry about the camera work. It wasn't a BBC it, crew, it, it, as you can okay. tell. Nevertheless, it's quite clear you want to privatise the NHS. Uh, look. Or you did. You, you, well, hang on. Unless you've hang changed on. your view. Hang on. You know, I made it clear we are an ageing population. We're a, we're a growing population as well. At some point in this century, years on, we may well have to have a debate how we fund the NHS in this country. But I want to make it clear. Under my leadership, UKIP will be committed to putting more money into the NHS, but onto the front line, into nurses, into doctors, into midwives, because it cannot okay. be right, let me finish, it cannot be right that in England today, 51% of people who work for the NHS are not clinically qualified. You are sounding like you are now massaging the sacred cow. Have you changed your views? No, I think that everything in politics should be up for debate. Nothing should be parked, because if you don't debate things, things never improve. And one day, it might go private. Well, maybe at some point... I've been